Well, after a sunny day, parents are now probably wondering like what tonight's forecast will be for trick or treating. We're joined now by meteorologist Michelle Boss. And what can you tell us? Is it going to be frightful out there? Uh, you know, fortunately not. I mean, you're if you live down here, any any length of time, you know that it's usually cold on Halloween, and so it is seasonably cold out there. But otherwise, we have relatively quiet weather, and it's just kind of crazy how we transition. One minute it's Halloween, and it's all about October, and the next thing you know, you wake up, and it's November, and it's Tom's Turkey Drive, and we're thinking about Thanksgiving. So kind of crazy. Of course, weather transitioning as well. We're kind of getting out of that fall pattern, getting colder, and we'll probably start talking about snow a little bit more as we get into next month. But uh, no problems there so far. Today's high 50 degrees. So pretty close to our average high of 49. We did get below freezing this morning and do expect to see uh, another chilly morning as we start our work week. Temperature is already pretty cold out there right now. 43 degrees. Of course, clear skies with the lighter winds. That's going to help us cool down pretty quickly out there. Relative humidity at 42%. Right now, weather headlines for the rest of the evening. If you're going to be out and about seasonably cold temperatures, but dry weather temperatures starting off in the lower 40s right now. But over the next couple of hours, of course, we'll be cooling down into the upper 30s and then chilly Monday morning as temperatures once again head below freeze. And I think we're going to be in the upper 20s to around 30 again tomorrow morning. Next chance of showers comes in Monday night and Tuesday. But even though I'm talking about freezing temperatures, uh, the atmosphere is still going to be too warm for snow. So we are going to be talking about some unsettled wet weather for this upcoming week but not really worried about any wintry weather, even in the higher elevations. I know this sounds kind of crazy, even the mountains just getting plain old rain. But on the weather map right now, things very dry across the no northwest with upper level ridge of high pressure in place. This low in northwestern Oregon is trying to creep in our direction. A few showers uh, coming up over the blues that really is just going to fizzle out over the next several hours and not bring any rainfall our way. We're watching this next storm system out in the Pacific has a lot more juice with it, so quite a bit of cloud cover that'll be pushing in late in the day tomorrow, and then we could see some showers by Monday night into Tuesday morning. So future tracker showing clear skies through the overnight hours into Monday morning. So waking up to sunshine and mostly sunny through most of the day. We won't see that cloud uh, cover increasing until late in the afternoon, early evening, and then we could see some rain showers as early as 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night with some of those showers lingering around through early Tuesday morning, but I think they'll be over with uh, by the time most people are heading headed out the door and then we're just looking at mostly cloudy skies through the rest of the day on Tuesday. High temperatures tomorrow, similar to what we saw today, lower 50s, 51 Grand Coulee, 55 in Afreda. Notice those cold overnight lows in the upper 20s, 53 in Davenport, 52 in Deer Park with the low of 24. So chilly, chilly tomorrow down into the mid 20s in Newport, mid 20s in Sandpoint, 28 degrees in Spokane, 26 in Coeur d'Alene, and then those highs with sunshine should push us up back to around 50 degrees. 59 expect for the high in Lewiston. They'll actually stay above freezing overnight. Down to 21 in Colville with the high in the lower 50s tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. Here's a look at our extended forecast. Not really any uh, warm temperatures out there. So again, no threat for snow this week, but we do have a chance of showers Monday night into Tuesday. And then it does look like more unsettled weather for the end of the week with rain showers on Thursday and Friday.